Hello and welcome. My name is Frank, musician photographer here in the Midwest, and today we are going to do more investigating with the Rico GXR. All right, guys, so this is part of my Chicago street photography, day number 22. And uh, if you saw day 21, that was pretty cool. Uh, so, you know, just a few images, but this time I got a bunch of images. So stick around. It's going to be long. And uh, I did it with this uh, Ricoh GXR. Uh, pretty awesome little camera. Great color reproduction. Great black and white. I'm um, really loving it. And uh, by the way, if you want to know what I was using, as far as my settings are concerned, I'm shooting in RAW. ISO 1600 and I went down to 800 for a few because there was some light and then my shutter speed was around 1 100th and my opening was aperture opening was around f 2.8 although when I got there it was during the daylight so I was getting pretty good light so I was like around f 5.6 f 6.2 somewhere around there and um yep those are my settings so let's get into it let's dive right in this is the rico grx chicago street photography day number 22 let's get into it okay guys so let's uh let's dive right in and start checking out these photographs here all right so this, this first one here I'm just on my way there it's a typical scene nowadays and no matter where you go you, you know people are on their phones so I just wanted to grab this shot. Uh, I, I, I love the colors here. I think that really pops out. And then her coat. Uh, it's really, really nice. You know what I mean? Like the texture on it. It's just the way it looks. It, uh, you know, you wouldn't imagine it's 2019. Uh, but I just, I, I love that vintage look. I just keep going because there's a lot of photographs here. All right. Maybe not tack sharp. Uh, but I like the profile here and then all these leading lines, you know, going up and up the escalator. All right, let's keep going. We're going to go. We're going to move real fast. Now, this one really love this one. Love all the lights. And uh, you can see the Rico colors coming through the red, the blue and the yellow. Just amazing. Uh, these is House of House of Blues and parking towers and just a great, great photograph altogether. I love this one. All right. Now, uh, this is uh, just a shot down angle. Nothing spectacular here. Uh, I just love the structure. And, you know, you can see all that detail on stone right here. Anyways, there's a couple just moving down and then the motion blur of that all right let's keep going all right uh here's another one this is crossing um one of the streets here the chicago theater is off in the distance there and these cars are going by and, and if you you know wondering where i'm standing i'm kind of standing in the middle no i'm not going to get run over so you know it's totally fine uh, i just thought it was a, a very nice shot you know because it looks like the those that front car and then that uh, big tourist bus in my my collide but no nothing happened it was all good but it, it sort of looks like that all right now this one really enjoy this one i forgot exactly what this thing is <laughs> shame on me for not knowing what it is but uh yeah i just think it's so awesome with the way it's lit up at night uh you know what i mean it's somewhat eerie right but then you know it's got uh illinois stars there and uh yeah i just i just love it i think it's I think it's just an awesome photograph all that blue you know what i mean on the, at the top of uh on the top of that and the way the trees are framing it i, I just thought it was a really cool shot uh, let me know in the comments uh, do, what, what do you guys think let me know what you think i like this one even though it's like really noisy black and white uh it just has this vintage vibe to it and i really enjoy it and it's an older couple walking down the street there all right here's another one almost the same same way you know what i mean it's got that vintage vibe to it uh people just waiting to cross the street <clears throat> let's keep going all right now we're on michigan avenue um even more commuters uh you can tell it's kind of the wintry type of scene people photographing off in the distance which many do now here we got this shot and i i love this one because of all like the blue and the orange right uh and i was i was actually waiting for that moment for somebody in a white uh, jacket to cross in the middle but you know what it wasn't happening and I stood there for quite a while and I'm like it's not happening finally she came she had a white jacket and I'm like okay cool and I, I was hoping to get her right in the middle but I didn't um, I just thought it, it would have looked really nice with all like the the white of the stones of the building and then uh, you know the white with the, the banner work on the side all right so now what we're going to look at we're going to look at some like structure stuff and it really not necessarily 
people in there. Although there's a guy off in the distance there, but uh, they're doing some work over here on this building, and uh, I just thought it looked really, really awesome. I look at some more from this angle. You know, just a lot of uh, different lines and structure and. You know what I mean? I, I just see a lot of symmetry in there, and that, that just catches my eye, and I thought it was... Let, let me know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of these photographs here? Okay, this is like an up angle, still near the same area, and obviously there's a lot of work going on, so yeah, I just... I, I love all this, uh, you know, these lines here. They're all converging, uh, all this work happening. I, I just love this photograph. All right, let's keep moving. All right, now, I like this one. Um, there's a lot of motion in this lady that's uh, up on the on the foreground and in the background there's another lady so i just thought this uh, shot kind of worked for me uh, all right now oh, here now very beautiful woman um I, I i love her look and you know her very beautiful face of course um my focus is obviously not on her <laughs> but it happens so quickly you know and um yeah you know, I, I just love her look i think it's amazing all right here we go so this is one of my favorite ones and um uh, this couple came out of nowhere and <laughs> you can see the dog was coming right for me and it was awesome and I just I I got on one knee and I put my camera down and I, I got him right as he got as close as possible and I love this one because the fact that the leash like leads you up and then it takes you further into the photograph you know I think everything about it works the lighting worked uh, the shadows the long shadows um, yeah, it's, it's an awesome photograph. Let me know, what do you guys think about this photograph? I think it's awesome. It's probably my favorite from the set. Um, and very enjoyable, and uh, I'm, I'm really glad that I got it. All right, let's keep moving, guys. I got a, lot, a, couple, a couple more to go. And uh, typical scene, uh, nothing particularly amazing about this, but if you, you've never been to Chicago, uh, you got these long buses, right? They accommodate more commuters, so um, definitely worth uh, sharing this photograph. Let's keep going. All right, uh, not a particularly awesome. I think if she would have been wearing a scarf, it would have worked better with the background. All right, let's keep moving, guys. All right, here we go. Um, this one, uh, it's okay. You know, I mean, uh, there's a couple sitting there in the background. I was trying to, kind of trying to get them in frame. Um, the lighting was pretty, pretty decent in that one. Let's keep going. All right, so here's uh, mom and daughter. They're obviously shopping. Um, I wish I would have gotten it a, a little bit more sharper than this, but uh, nonetheless, I, I, I like the image. I like the blue and the red. Let's keep going. All right, here we go. And I was uh, I was trying to get something that worked well with this background. Obviously, I could never get the, and this is what, like, what the closest thing that I could get to what I was envisioning. Uh, so I was gonna trying to get somebody that had a similar look to kind of go with this uh, background here. All right, never mind. Okay, here we go. Uh, this one here, when I the original shot was very overexposed, and I work with it, and I, I, I got it to a decent level, uh, and I just like everything that's happening here. You know what I mean? Um, he's standing it right in the middle, but then you got all these lines converging. There's a lot of symmetry. There's a lot to look at. I mean, visually, I think it's awesome. And then you got this uh, image in the background. I really don't even know the name of this place. I just think it looks awesome. And um, you know what I mean? It's a very clean image. Even though I'm shooting it from, there's a window, a glass in, in front of me. I, I thought it worked out real well. This is with the Ricoh GXR. But all of these are with the Ricoh GXR. Now this one, very cool. Love the lighting on this doorway. Um, and she's standing there, and uh, I had to really crop in here. But the way the light is just shining off, bouncing off the walls, all that red back there. Obviously, she's having a smoke, and um, you know what I mean? I just think it, it works really, really well. I really enjoy this image. This, this actually turned out really well for, for being far away. All right, here's another one. Very uh, detailed in the front. You know, I focus in on it on her phone <clears throat> look at these bags and just the texture in the bag i don't even know why that appeals to me but it just does uh the way she's standing there it's a good profile and in the background you got this kind of like vintage eerie building in the background uh totally awesome and uh you know you you, you know you know you get a, an idea to where you're at with the post in the back there all right so let's keep moving guys all right awesome awesome for i love this one this is probably one of my favorites from this set Okay, so here we got two moms and their kids and the strollers and just look, look at the way they're dressed, you know. 
and then with the background moving and then you know she is obviously very sharp in the middle here um you know she's she's got like a different type of stroller uh it's like a almost like a race car type of stroller with the bag at the bottom i think just it's just very cool image um you know i'm wondering what you know we'll look back in you know 10 20 years from now we'll be like wow you know like what is that? What were they wearing? You know what I mean? Like, that's why I love street photography because that's I love looking at pictures from, like, the 60s and the 40s and it's just amazing stuff. And I think that this this one is uh, just got something to it. You know what I mean? Kept, and there's two of them. Uh, so, you know, I got lucky somehow. I aimed uh, the camera and it, it all just worked out perfectly. Now, this one I'm mad about. So, in contrast to the one I just showed you, this one, oh, you know what? It would have worked out great, but, you know, I know it's blurry and uh, ISO is horrible. <laughs> you know, maybe it's not a great, but I wanted to showcase this not only for you guys, but to myself because of the fact that I missed it. Uh, she obviously has a great look. I love that look. You know what I mean? It, it's just so like 1920s. You know, I, I don't know why that says 1920s to me, but it does. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. But, uh, you know, if it would have been sharper, if I wasn't moving so fast, if it would have been more light. I mean, so many things could have worked better and it didn't. Uh, but I just still wanted to show it. So you kind of visualize what it would have looked like. <laughs> uh, but it's, I think it's still worth sharing. So thank thank you guys for checking this out. I'm almost done here. Uh, oh, I love the structure on this picture here. Oh, my God. Yes. Uh, look, look, at, look at just the, the leading lines going to the top uh there's three gentlemen down at the bottom one is yawning but you know the reflections off this marble from this building and then just all i mean there's so much to it you know i really love this image i think it worked out really 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 well love it all right let me know what you guys think about this one let me know if you can tell how exactly am i shooting this and what is it <laughs> All right, enough suspense, but this is uh, sort of like in between an alleyway, and I'm just like shooting down from where I'm standing. I photograph this little section every single time, and it's always different. It's always changing, and uh, today it just happened to be lit up in such a way, and I was just like, oh, let me let me capture this. All right, let's keep going, guys. All right, another black and white. Uh, these, these people are renting the Divi bikes, obviously. Uh, just I, I, I love the look. Very... Uh, very awesome here. Let's keep going. All right. So what is happening here? So the little doggy. Oh man. Uh, so let me let me talk on this photo for a little bit. So as I came around the corner, I see this man and his dog, and um, uh, the gentleman on the left is uh, motioning to the dog to come at it. You know, he wants to pet the little dog, and so the little dog goes towards him, but then. For some weird reason, the dog like just turned around and looked at me and just kind of started running my way. And I just snapped the photo and this is what I got. You know what I mean? And I love it. I love this photograph. It's probably my favorite from the entire. So this one and then the other one uh, with the guy in the wheelchair with the dog, the two doggy ones here. I really love this. I just think it was just one of those moments. Uh, it is a bit noisy. I think it was like ISO 1600, but it, you know, it's just one of those moments, and it's why I love going out there because of the fact that you capture uh, certain moments like this, you know. All right, let's keep going. Uh, nothing too spectacular here. Um, I just love the structure on the top of this. Uh, you know, they, they build these things to work on the building, the scaffolding. All right, let's keep going. I'm getting near the end, guys. So the Chicago Theater with this bus or not bus listen to me <laughs> this truck right um you know and as i'm leaving i just i just noticed this and i just thought it made a great image i thought it was awesome all right guys let me know in the comments what you guys think this is part of day number 22 chicago street photography normally i'm out and about and filming myself this time i didn't get a chance to do that but so here we are so thank you so much for joining me I appreciate all your support. Let me know what were your favorite photographs. Let me know if you like the stories behind it. Should I keep making more videos like this? Do you enjoy this? Let me know. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.